Kate Harrington was Truman Capote's prodigy. Feud. Capote vs. the Swans shines a light on Truman Capote's famous short story, La Cote Basque, which was published in Esquire's November 1975 issue. The story, which led to Capote's expulsion from New York's high society, spilled sordid details about his friends, aka the Swans' personal lives. FX's retelling of events premiered on January 31 to critical acclaim. Since then, each episode has peeled back a layer of Capote's betrayal, going back in time to uncover his motivations and the fallout of La Cote Basque. Though Capote is the primary focus of Feud, the series introduced a new and mysterious character in Episode 4. Titled It's Impossible, we see Capote, who is fresh out of rehab, plan a ball in hopes that the swans will attend. Then he receives a surprise visit from a woman named Carrie O'Shea, Aka Kate Harrington, the now grown-up daughter of his ex, John. O'Shea explains that she'd like to learn from Capote, whom she admires as an industry expert. Before Capote was deemed a social pariah, he was the trusted confidant of New York's wealthiest women and a nationally celebrated writer. Without his friends to keep him company, Capote agrees to her request and takes O'Shea under his wing, beginning a sort of pseudo-stepdaughter relationship that showcases his softer side. Feud takes some creative liberties with its storytelling, like Capote's rekindling with Babe Paley in episode 4. In actuality, they never spoke after La Cote Basque was published, but his relationship with O'Shea is real. Keep reading for everything we know about Carrie O'Shea, otherwise known as Kate Harrington. Kate Harrington was born Carrie O'Shea. Not much is known of her upbringing, except that she was raised by her father, John O'Shea, who worked as a bank manager and secretly dated Truman Capote. According to Business Insider, Harrington was first introduced to Truman when her father invited him over for dinner. At the time, she didn't know they were romantically involved, as Harrington said about their relationship in the 2019 documentary, The Capote Tapes. At one point, she claimed John abandoned their family to date Truman, but returned home when they broke up. After the dust settled, Harrington said she reached out to Capote and asked if he could help her find a job. Capote invited Harrington to his apartment, which is slightly different from Feud, where she shows up on her own and encouraged her to try modeling. Then he used his connections to get her a contract at the Wilhelmina agency and suggested she change her name. Apparently, Wilhelmina already had a Carrie O'Shea on their roster. Kate Harrington is reportedly a combination of family names. Kate was one of Carrie's grandmothers, and Harrington was her mother's maiden name. With a fresh name and new occupation, Harrington decided to live in Manhattan indefinitely and move in with Truman. Over the years, he helped introduce her to New York's wealthiest residents and brought her as a plus one to parties. In one famous image, Harrington is seen chatting with the actress Gloria Swanson at a Studio 54 event. Meanwhile, Capote is nestled in between them, appearing to take a nap under a wide-brimmed hat. Harrington and Capote remained close until his death in 1984. After he died, Kate stopped modeling and moved into the fashion industry, working as a stylist and designer. She began her fashion career as an assistant to Diana Vreeland, an editor at Vogue at the time. Then, she worked for Interview Magazine and Vanity Fair before finding her footing as a costume designer. Years later, she met John McTiernan, who starred in Die Hard. They married in 2003 and had one daughter named Truman. After her old friend, of course. In an interview with Vanity Fair, Harrington said she chose to honor Capote because he was an important person in my life. Harrington and McTiernan eventually divorced in 2003. It's unclear whether Harrington remarried, but she eventually left New York and is now based in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Business Insider reports that she is currently working on a memoir.